This is Corey McCarthy, and welcome to a new episode of Fit, Formidable, and Fantastic. That's right. Go F yourself, and happy Friday. Um, it was requested that I do an episode on supplements that someone who has tolerance issues with caffeine could try um, in order to improve their energy, their fatigue, their endurance levels, etc., um, or even, this could even be pertinent to somebody who simply wishes to eliminate caffeine and other stimulants from their body, um, including uh, common supplements like yohimbine or synephrine, for instance. Um, so, here we are. Now, I'm not in any way promoting miracles with any one of these supplements, nor am I suggesting that any of them uh, even come close to the power of caffeine or similar stimulants, but they, uh, they'll all show promise at varying levels. In actual research, we're promoting endurance, energy, and reducing fatigue. I will also admit a good bulk of these have been uh, have very limited research available. So again, uh, don't expect miracles, and uh, purchase or experiment within your budget, understanding that some of these might end up being a waste of money for you, or they or they could actually, on the flip side, really help you. Uh, but bear in mind that supplements can have varying degrees and responses in different people. What might work very well for one person who might be a hyper responder might have a modest or a mild response in yet another person or perhaps no value whatsoever in someone else. Um, furthermore, if you suffer from chronic or extreme energy issues, you could have inadequacies and deficiencies in your diet or nutrition. Um, you could be suffering from, some, from poor sleep and you might want to, you know, obviously remedy that first. Uh, or you could have some kind of a possible medical condition, maybe even a serious medical condition, that you would want to see a physician for. This video is in no way suggesting that these supplements should replace proper diet, sleep, or medical examination or treatment. These are just what they're called supplements. They supplement your diet, your efforts, um, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, assuming that everything else is in check. A supplement does not replace. A supplement does not, is not meant to be filling in uh, voids, in other words, um, by and large. So let's get on with it here. Um, let's start out with amino acids, uh, nutrients, vitamins, and minerals that might be of use to you. First, L-carnitine, specifically Alcar, um, as, it's, as it's sold, A-L-C-A-R. Uh, which may act, which may act, and I want to emphasize that may act as a light stimulant, according to anecdotal reports. Again, that is anecdote. The reason behind this light effect is currently unknown, and it is less than caffeine. Next one is pyruvate or pyruvate, however you pronounce that. Um, it was shown in a double-blind 1999 six-week study to reduce fatigue and increase perceived levels of vigor. Vigor, for those who might not know, it basically means strength and health. Uh, so seek out a calcium pyruvate supplement. Uh, commonly, that's, where, that's how you're going to find it. Another one would be beta alanine. This was demonstrated in a 2008 study to increase the training volume and reduce the perceived feelings of fatigue in college football players. However, these feelings eventually plateaued as supplementation duration continued. Thus, the longer-term use shows no additional benefits on feelings of fatigue. But for the short term, it's something to consider. Um, citrulline malate, uh, which was, con was concluded to promote aerobic uh, energy production in a 2002 study. Now, this may be due to the activation of ATP production. Betaine was demonstrated to elevate cellular energy in a 2015 study, so actually quite recent. In a 2009 study, beta eating supplementation was shown to improve muscular endurance in weight-trained college males, as well as increasing the quality of repetitions performed. Uh, creatine, uh, which I'm sure most of you already know about, um, has been demonstrated to enhance synthesis of ATP in a variety of studies. Now, ATP is considered by biologists to be the energy currency of life. It is a high-energy molecule. It stores the energy that we need uh, to do just about everything we do. Uh, there is a myriad of reasons why you might want to consider supplementing creatine, especially as a vegan, but this episode is purely about non-stimulant energizers, 
And a lot of creatine products are vegan, actually, and synthetically sourced. In fact, all the supplements going over here, you should be able to find vegan versions of. It may require some digging, but I actually have. So you should be able to find vegan versions of. And one more note, too, before I go forward, now that I've said that, what I said about the creatine here, is that a lot of these supplements may have other benefits as well. Um, but this episode, again, is focusing on um, non-caffeine or non-stimulant sources of energy and anti-fatigue, uh, etc. So I'm, I'm kind of ignoring other potential benefits these supplements may have and focusing just on that. Moving forward, B vitamins. According to Medline Plus, they assist in the process of obtaining and pr or producing energy from the foods you consume. I would suggest seeking out a quality B vitamin complex for uh, health and energy uh, to supplement a proper diet. Um, and furthermore, since B vitamins are water soluble, an overdose is virtually impossible. Um, and again, you'll, you'll probably be getting B vitamins from your diet as well, but you know, if you feel like supplementing or if you're deficient, go for it. Uh, moving forward, CoQ10, which is also known as coenzyme Q10 or ubiquinone, is another nutrient you might want to consider. In a 2011 paper, it was noted that CoQ10 is fundamental in powering the body's energy production uh, ATP cycle. Dosing is recommended at 30 to 90 milligrams a day, but even uh, up to 200 milligrams a day with a meal containing fat or for optimal absorption due to the fat solubility of CoQ10. Uh, next, uh, astaxanthin. And it has been shown to improve endurance capacity, specifically in swimming, in a 2006 study on mice due to an increase in fatty acid utilization for energy. In a study on rats from 2014, astaxanthin was shown to delay muscle exhaustion by, uh, while swimming up to 29%. Uh, furthermore, uh, human research is clearly needed, um, but the uh, rodent research is very compelling nonetheless and possibly worth giving a go. Um, and with regards to the uh, 2006 study, this may also make a good choice when trying to cut body fat. Now, moving forward, away from uh, vitamins, nutrients, aminos, and things like that, we're going to move into herbs that might be of use to you. Uh, first one would be Siberian ginseng. It appears to reduce fatigue and thus improve the quality of life, especially in the elderly. In an eight-week double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled study on trained males in 2010, Siberian ginseng supplementation was shown to enhance endurance capacity. Ashwagandha. It has been shown to improve endurance in elite athletes, according to a 2012 study on cyclists. Astragalus has been shown to reduce fatigue in exercised mice, according to a 2014 study. Furthermore, in a randomized placebo-controlled study from 2002, an oral dose of astragalus reduced fatigue in athletes due to an increase in uptake uh, and, system and systemic utilization of oxygen. Next, uh, rhodiola rosea. It has been demonstrated in research from 2009 on rats to improve swimming-induced fatigue levels. In a recent study on rats in March 2015, it showed that fermented rhodiola rosea protects against exercise-induced fatigue. In a study from 2000 on young physicians, humans this time, rhodiola rosea was shown to reduce overall fatigue in stressful conditions. Similar anti-fatigue results were concluded in a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled parallel group study from 2009 on males and females ages 20 to 55, and this study group initially suffered from burnout and fatigue syndromes. And um, so that's actually pretty interesting. And uh, in a 2004 double-blind placebo-controlled study, four weeks of supplementation improved endurance, exercise capacity, in young volunteers of good health. The dosage from that study was 200 milligrams containing 3% rosavin and 1% saladrosides uh, content. Uh, those are the actives, obviously. And... Um, Another one would be maca, which appears to be very popular amongst many vegans, especially in my FB group, I've noticed, my Facebook group, um, and has been demonstrated to improve endurance in a 2009 study on cyclists, uh, specifically improvements in cycling time. Furthermore, from a 2012 study on rats, maca supplementation was shown to increase swimming endurance. In, uh, swimming endurance. 
The rats were dosed 30 milligrams per kilogram of body weight, saw 25% improvement, whereas the rats that were dosed 100 milligrams per kilogram of body weight of MACA uh, saw a 41% uh, improvement. Now, this list uh, may not be complete. There may be supplements I didn't even consider that elicit energizing or endurance enhancing effects, but these were some that came up with a quick, uh, with quick research. Um, so, of course, if anybody has other ideas or suggestions and, uh, and obviously some research to go along with it, I, you know, we don't just want to take your word for it, um, but, you know, go ahead and provide some anecdote uh, if you have it as well. Um, please do drop it in the comments below. Again, we're looking for things here, we're, we're discussing things here that are non-stimulant. So like things that aren't caffeine or caffeine containing, so green tea would be out, chocolate would be out because they contain caffeine. Um, or other non-caffeine stimulants like yohimbine, for instance, synephrine, or of course the now banned ephedrine. Um, then please do drop them in the comments below. I'd love to discuss, I'd love to hear uh, your experiences. Uh, anyway, that's all I have to say for this episode. I hope this is of some help to you. Again, these are just supplements, and there's no requirement for these. If you just like to try them, if you're looking for a little extra energy kick, um, or to reduce your fatigue or improve your endurance, this might help you out. Um, anyway, uh, I will see you guys on Monday for a regularly scheduled episode. Until then, stay fit, stay formidable, and stay fantastic. I'll see you around.